Hi, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy paper crafting flip throughs, tips and tutorials, please subscribe and stay a while. Today I am showing you my newest creation. It is kind of based on a junk journal theme, but it is an insert for a traveler's notebook. This is just the size, you know, I'm never good with the sizes, but it's an eight and a half by 11 folded in half. Um, and this is for a swap over on Swap It for a princess unicorn theme. So I, I know the person I'm giving it to has a traveler's notebook and this should be the size of her inserts. And so I used this, um, it's kind of velvet, like a faux velvet cover, this blue cover, doily and belief. So my whole idea behind this is to pretty much give it to her blank this is how I sewed the insert together with this gold thread. Pretty Mama. much leave it blank. <laughs> and um, I'll do a quick flip through because there's a few things in here. But blank so that she can decorate it. And then I have some homemade embellishments that I made that I will show you. So I backed this with this shiny um, star paper. And then this is just copy paper in some different colors. We have pink, white. This is a printable page from Doodle Chips Creative from her Magical Peeps collection. I thought the colors went perfectly for what I'm doing. So I just added that in there and then left this side white, yellow, blue. And then I used, on this page, I used my silhouette to cut out this. And so that's in the corner of that page. White, there's the middle, yellow, white, pink, blue, yellow. The other side of that paper. And then in the back, I have a doily here. It's actually a few doilies together. It, it makes it a little stiffer. I did it on uh, by accident, but I figured that was better. I sprayed it with different colors of glimmer mist and added some hearts and then embellished this tag to put in there so you could write name you know whatever else that has right there in the back so that's the book that's to go in the traveler's notebook now instead of me going in and decorating all the pages the way i'd like it I made a little embellishment kit to send with it. And I like this idea because then it's very customizable. You could use it as a planner, you could use it as a memory book, you could use it as a journal, you could use it as a to-do list. So I took a Project Life card and I used some repositionable adhesive to put these homemade flowers that I made with some punches. So she can take these off and put them anywhere in the book. And then I just have a few of these things are just like die cuts. This is also from the Magical Peeps collection, Doodle Chips Creative. I took my giant circle punch and I love these little unicorns. They are so adorable and the colors are absolutely perfect. So I have three of those in here. What I love to do with circles is the same thing that I did with the doily in the back. I love to make them a tuck spot. I just glue or tape around about this much of it and stick it on. Then you can stick stuff in there. So she has three of these to put anywhere in the book. If she just tapes or glues around there, you've made a tuck spot. And instead of me deciding where in the book she would like them, I'm just giving them to her. The other thing that you can do is make a giant, like if you fold it in half, you can make a giant tab or decoration or kind of like I did with the doily here. So she can add those wherever she likes. Of course, some washi, so she can put that wherever. A heart doily, so that can be added wherever. Then I have this, and if you want me to do a tutorial on these, please comment below. I will try to do so. See if my camera picks these up because it's silver writing. I used my silhouette and a silhouette sketch pen. This says love to be different. I wrote out a whole bunch or typed out a whole bunch of different sayings on my silhouette and then I used my sketch pen to write them out and then I used a second cut line and had that um, 
had my machine cut around them. So I have Love to be Different, Shine Bright with some leaves on either side. Blessings are everywhere. Laugh today. Trust in God. Always be kind. Always be faithful. And royal. So I thought these were kind of all a, a happy princessy sort of theme. So I added... You'll see some of these on the embellishments I made, but I gave her some extras so she can make embellishments or add them throughout the book as she would like. And then also I gave her some extra gold thread because, um, you know, I stitched it together with that, but this would match if she wanted to use it on embellishments or whatever she wanted to do. Okay, so let's get into the embellishments. I used a die cut. Um, to make that little frame. I used a die cut here for this heart butterfly. I kept them really simple so that she can add to them and put them where she wants. Here's a crown and this one says princess in training. Be unique. Create something new. Sweet. I used the die cut for the word and the heart, of course. Smile and laugh. Live in love. And I added some eyelash trim on that as well. These are just some um, printables. I think they were from Pinterest. But, you know, a king and an ace. I'll put those in the printable pile. Some flowers. More flowers die cut. This was in a happy mail that I'm repurposing since that seemed to go well with the theme. Little tag that says shine. Another tag that says always stay sweet. This one says shine and it has glimmer mist on it. Embrace life. Choose to shine. And I put some um, flat back adhesive rhinestones on that crown. A little collage. Oh, and some extra ones. Some extra die cuts. There's a big flower I, I made with punches and another die cut. So this is her little kit to decorate The journal or planner or whatever she wants it to be just add it to your traveler's notebook so I hope that that gave you some ideas um, of about how you can kind of make a mini junk journal kit so that the person receiving it can actually do it this would be really awesome on a large scale too and I think I want to try that someday instead of just the traveler's notebook actually have a few signatures in a hardback you know gutted book and then, you know, the coffee dyed paper and all of that and some tuck spots, you know, pockets and things. But then have like a whole kit of matching ephemera. And instead of me placing it where I want it in the book, send it to the recipient so that they can decorate their own junk journal. So this is just a little idea I had and I hope it gives you some ideas.